let's talk about exceptions and exception handling in Python you see there are a certain errors that Python will identify during the compilation itself one such example is the syntax error let's see an example so when I say print and uh, I'll simply write the string and I will not enclose the parenthesis so this is the syntax error right so this will be identified by Python in runtime itself saying unexpected EOF end of uh, EOF while passing file or the while passing so but there are certain errors that Python cannot identify like this during the compilation time they can only be identified during the runtime and they are called as exceptions let's see an example let's define two numbers <coughs> a equal to 5 and b equal to 0 okay I have, I have two numbers 5 and 0 when you try to add these two numbers the result is equal to 5 plus 0 which is 5 right so I'll store it in one more variable and I'll simply print addition equal to C so this gets executed with no problem at all but when you try to divide these two numbers let's assume when you're doing the division a divided by B and division equal to C let's see what happens so we can see that Python has thrown an exception of the type zero division error and the program has stopped abruptly the reason I said abruptly because the very next statement which is the print statement did not execute and the program just terminated when it found an exception so this is where something called exception handling has to be done to our programs so that such kind of unexpected exceptions should not terminate our programs abruptly the simplest and easiest way of handling any type of exception that may occur in our program is by just enclosing our program inside inside uh, the try and accept block so here's an example and inside try let me define two numbers phi and zero and let me try to divide those two numbers and print the result as well okay except and if there is any exception I'll say some error occurred okay when I execute this even though exception occurred in our program it has been handled and it has been terminated in a proper way with some message instead of simply terminating abruptly okay so now if we just write accept then you're using the base class of the exception which is capable of handling any type of exceptions that can occur in our program and print a generic message okay but we can also handle exception of specific types or also called as the child exceptions or child class of the exception to provide meaningful messages in our example we know that we will be getting a zero division error when we try to divide a number with zero so we can make use of this child class exception okay so let me write here so instead of accept using I'm, I mean using the base class I'll write a child class zero division exception zero division error I'll say zero division error occurred in the program okay so now you can with the help of this child exceptions you can print a meaningful message when 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 the program goes into exception so now this program works fine but I would like to inform you that our program can handle the exception of type zero division error only which means that if there is any other type of error the program cannot handle it for example let's assume if we are trying to divide a number with string okay we, we know that we cannot divide a number with a string right so it will it will uh, throw a different type of exception this time and that exception is not zero division error zero division exception so 
it is not being handled in our program so you will again get an exception saying unsupported operand type integer and str okay so it is always uh, in this case uh, it is type error exception which was not handled on our program so it is it is a good practice to also include the base class of the exception so that if there is any other type of exception that uh, we think uh, can be possible we will still get a user friendly message so i'll write except and we know that this is the base class we are not writing any child class exception here i'll uh, i'll write a generic message some error occurred so this way we handle any type of exception that we think we we, we would not have expected okay also please remember that you write this uh, base class exception code after writing all the child classes okay so because if you write the base class exception first for example if you do something like this you write the base class first and then if you write the child class you will first it will catch the F uh, base class first and it will not even check for the child class okay so to avoid this confusion python will throw an invalid syntax during the compilation error to avoid such type of coding okay it will throw a syntax error if you try to do such kind of coding so ideally you should write all the child exceptions first and then finally you have to write the base class or the parent class exception message or the code okay also python provides an option for you to raise an exception manually by using the keyword called as raise so let me let's let's see a simple example to do that so i'll say try in try i will simply raise zero division error i'll i am manually raising even though i'm not dividing any numbers by zero i'm manually simply just raising the zero division exception okay and now in the except i'll just copy the from the previous code so i'm handling the exception so with this raise keyword you can manually raise an exception of any type you want to okay so even though we are not dividing any number by zero we can still raise any type of exception using the raise keyword okay now let's talk about the try accept and finally block now that uh, we know that whenever there is an exception in our program the normal flow of the program gets changed but there are certain scenarios where certain action has to happen happen whether there is any exception or no exception so let's assume we are trying to you know um, open this text file and we are trying to open this text file and read all the contents so after reading all the contents we have to close the file okay so let's write a simple code to do to do that so i'll say file equal to open my file dot txt and uh, i'll open it in the read mode and i'll say for line in file i'll simply print that line and after reading all the lines or printing all the lines it is very important that i i close this file okay so it is very important to write this file dot close because so that so that we release the resources that from from memory okay so let me execute this okay my file dot txt okay so we read all the file and it got closed now let's assume while you're reading the text file some error or some exception occurred and the program terminates abruptly without executing this last line which is file dot close okay so how do we tackle that problem one option to tackle such a situation is to make use of the try and accept block so i'll write try and inside try i will write this code
okay and then except so even if there is any exception in our program we will still try to close the file let me execute this so this is one way but if you observe what we have done we have written file dot close both in the try block as well as in the except block this is where something called uh, finally block comes in handy let's see an example so in finally block you don't have to write the file close every time you just so in except I'll just simply print some error occurred and in finally block I'll write file dot close so the code which is written inside the finally block will get executed whether or not if there is any exception or not so there is no need to write the file dot close in the try as well as except block if you just mention it in finally finally uh, block it will get executed okay so whether there is an exception or there is no exception it will still you know uh, execute this code file dot close okay so that's all about exception handling in python